Hi, this is Michelle from the Milton Public Library and I'm coming to you with another project to do with Teen Space. Um, so today, in today's technology, we usually rely on our digital photography. However, it's sometimes very nice to have um, something that you can display. So what I'm going to do with you today is I'm going to show you how you can make these really cute photo blocks that will um, that you will be able to put pictures on and you will be able to even kind of play with. I'll show you how they work in a few seconds. So when you pick up your take and make kits, you're going to get eight of these wooden blocks. You will get a spool, <laughs> kind of, of um, duct tape. You will get a grid like this. And I am going to show you what you're going to be able to do with all of this. You will need some glue. I really probably would suggest a glue stick as opposed to um, Elmer's glue this time. And you'll need some scissors and a pen. So I am semi-prepared for this today uh, ahead of time, but I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step how this is done. So first of all, what I wanna do is I wanna show you how these work. I opted to put family on the top of this block but as it opens, you will see that I have pictures of my family inside. They flop, there's another one, there's another one. This one comes down to reveal yet another and another. So in this particular block, I have six different pictures. And then I go back to family again. And they're really kind of fun to play with. So let's get started. I put those to the side and I'm going to take my blocks. That's going to be my first step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to couple all of my blocks. You should have two blocks per set. And what we're gonna do is line them up. And I have pre-cut some um, duct tape over here because um, it'll be a lot easier for me to do this with you this way. So I'm going to take my first two blocks and I'm going to put some duct tape on them just like that. Take those two together. I'm going to do the same with the next two blocks. And the next two. And then the next two. So now I have four sets of blocks that are taped together. Here comes the next step. What you're going to do is you're going to take your block, I'm going to tip it this way so you can see it better, and I'm going to tip this up just like this, and I'm gonna take another piece of tape and I'm going to put it on the inside of that block like that, then this will come back down. Same with this one, I'm going to tip one side up, put another piece of tape right here, make sure that they're as flat as you can get them, and that's gonna go back down. These are going to boing a little bit, but as you work with them, they'll settle down a little bit. This block, same thing. I'm gonna tape those two together, just like that. Open it back up, tip it up. It's very important that you follow these steps exactly like this because it'll make it that much easier for you. Okay, so now you've got your blocks, they should look like that. What I'm going to have you do now is I'm going to have you put two blocks on the outside like this. This one will turn like that, and this one will turn like this. So now you have your blocks all together like this. That's what they should look like. All right, now I'm going to flip them all over, keeping them in the same order. I'm going to take some more tape, and I'm going to put two uh, pieces here here, here, and here. This is when it pulls together a little bit better. So as you can see, I flipped that over and I put four pieces of tape on it just like that. Now we're going to turn those up like that. They're back on the top. And then I'm going to show you, you turn it to the side and put a piece of tape here. 
and a piece of tape here. On this side, you're going to turn to this side, which is the opposite, exactly the opposite of that side. And you're going to put a piece of tape there and a piece of tape there. So it should look like this all the way around. Okay, so now here comes the test. Take your block, can you open it? Will it do exactly what you want it to? If it's doing this, then you are in great shape and you should be back at the beginning with that. All right, so now that's, that's putting the block together. That is not the most difficult step, but it is a little tricky, so you really have to pay attention. Okay, so I have most of my photographs pre-prepared so that it won't take forever to do this video. Um, but now I'm going to show you what you need to do with your picture. Okay, so now we're going to prep this last photograph. So I want this photograph to be in that direction. So I'm going to put my grid, which you I already told you will be included in your kit. And I'm going to trace a line these grids are not exactly straight because I used blocks to make them. So uh, I apologize for that, but they're straight enough. You'll be able to figure it out. And I don't think my pen is working, but I can see where my lines are. So now that I've made these lines, I am going to cut, if I can see, hold on a sec, there we go. I'm going to cut on those lines just like this. Okay, these can be thrown out now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some glue. As you can see, this isn't very straight, but they get trimmed as you go along. So now I'm going to put some glue on the back of my photograph. And again, like I said, these are actual photograph copies of photographs that I'm using. They're not paper copies though. They're actually done on photo paper, which makes them a little bit more adorable. Then I'm going to take my grid and I'm going to glue it onto the back of my paper, uh, onto the back of my picture. You kind of want to be careful because you can get, if you're not careful, you can get glue on the front of your picture and you don't really want that to happen. As you can see, I've got a little white showing underneath. I'm going to trim that up. That I don't necessarily want on my blocks. The other thing that I am going to do is when I lay this out, this is going to be the top left-hand side of my picture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my picture over and number these. So this is gonna be number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That way I know in what direction I need to place them on my blocks. After I've put the grid on and numbered them, I'm going to cut them in little squares. and that's what the lines are for. And again, they're not perfect, but you'll be able to use them, trust me. I'm going to turn these over now so I know what direction my picture needs to be in. And then I'm gonna cut this side. And lay those out as well in the direction in the same order that they should be in. That's why the numbers come in handy. That's five and that's seven. And this seven, if I've got it going in the right direction, will have the picture be right side up. <laughs> Sometimes you get the, just a little piece like that and you're not sure what direction it goes in. Okay, so all of my pictures are ready now. And what I'm going to do is I'm not gonna start with my very top picture before um, to add my photos on. I'm going to wait on that. So I'm going to open that up and this is going to be my first one. And it's going to be a longer version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this picture first and I'm going to start to glue it on. Actually, it's sometimes easier to just put your glue right on the block. Just make sure though that you get all the corners as close as you can um, glued. So there's number one, that's gonna go that way. 
and make sure too that you put your corners as close into the fold lines or into the where the blocks separate as you can. That will make a big difference as well. Now I've got a little glue on my hands. So I'm trying not to get it on my photographs. This one again should be as close to the corner as possible. And this one. So I think you kind of get the idea as to how this is all going to go. I don't think I'm going to finish this picture, but you would glue the rest. Well, maybe I should. We, um, we, you can glue the rest of the picture onto the blocks. It's best sometimes to let them dry in between stages. That's not going to be an option for me today, but it'll help you to, um, it'll help the pictures to stay in place when you start to move them around. So you can tell, whoops, did I do that one wrong? Yes, I did, because this direction. See, the numbers are a very big help. Okay, so there's my first picture glued on. She's going to need a little bit of trimming. I can tell that she's overhanging some of the edges, as you can see right here. So all that I would suggest doing is taking the scissors and cutting it as close to the block of wood as you can. Same here, just cutting the outside edge. You don't really want to trim the insides of your pictures too much because you could actually end up losing some expression. Okay, so that's pretty good. That's what hers looks like. Now the next step would be to open these blocks up and your next picture, your next long picture would go on here. So this is the next one that's going on here. Put your glue on. Okay, I believe that's one. Two. And you do want to get them fairly close. However, when you fold them up, sometimes they'll shift a little bit on you, so. It's better to have a little extra hanging over the edge there than it is to have a little extra hanging between the slots and the, and the blocks here. There you go. That's the second set of pictures. And again, this one could use some trimming. So I'm going to take my scissors. I'm going to trim that off. Trim that off right there. Okay, so... Not too bad. This one could use a little trimming of paper. There we go. Now, the next one is this little, this little one right here. So I'm going to glue it again. I'm going to put this picture on here. I've made a couple of these. I have not done them from upside down. So I have to admit that this is a, <laughs> a bit of a challenge because I've got my skirt sideways and my pants going the wrong way too. So there you go. Okay, that's the, that's the fourth picture, third picture. Um, my hands are getting very sticky. And so this one now, but the blocks separate the other way. They go down and up. That one doesn't wanna stay folded right now. I've probably got some overhang that needs to be trimmed. But we're gonna finish this. Do some trimming later. As you can see, I got some photos that are boinging out a little bit. Okay, so this one is going to go like this. I like this picture because there's a really cool reflection in the water. 
This is the real picture, the real people, and these are the reflections, and I thought that was kind of cool. Okay, so there's that one, and the next picture would be this one. not taking tons of time to uh, trim these, so I apologize for that. We can go back hopefully and do them later. That one goes, those two go there. That one goes there. Okay, so that's that one. Now this should bring us back to our beginning again, which is right here fix those back on there and I saved this one for last because I think this one gets the most abuse when you're trying to put this all together so this one is going to be I'm going to glue it I need some more glue We're going to put this one on. Silly picture. Okay. So, just again, all of this needs to dry. If you've got time at home, it's really a good idea to let each um, each photo dry a little bit before you try to go on to the next but you'll have the video to go back um, back to keep checking you know what your progress should be so another idea that you could actually do with these is you could actually glue pieces of paper onto your blocks the reason why I say glue paper first is because you've already taped them together with um, duct tape and you'd want to cover that but you could paint or color your um, your pieces, your little pieces of paper before you glue them on. And it could actually just be, just play, be a toy, just for playing, just for watching it fold and unfold. You'd use different colors on each, on each block, each set of blocks, and it, that could be fun too. So I hope that you enjoy this project. It would make great gifts. I think probably grandparents would love it. I think friends would be very happy with it, mom and dad. So if you're looking for a Christmas idea, this might, this might work for you. Just make sure you've got a little time, a little bit of patience, and have access to some photos that you can actually cut up. Might not be a good idea to use your originals. Mom and dad might not like that, but you can, find, you can get copies made at Kinney Drugs for very reasonable. So anyway, come get your take and make kits, have fun with this, and have a great time doing it. We miss you terribly around here. We hope that um, things change soon so that we can get back together in person. Um, but I'm grateful that you have been able to get some of these projects and I hope you're enjoying them. So I hope you have a good time. Stay safe, stay healthy, wear your masks. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.